Hello everyone, welcome back to Seems Weird Gaming. My name's Matt. And I'm Jordan. Sorry, he started really quickly, so I thought I'd bounce yeah. that. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, give the feeling of like speedrun type thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I did not communicate that with you, so that's kind of on me. <laughs> and I'm Jordan. There, I fixed it. <laughs> Uh, I'm supposed to go down, apparently. We're back with Scourge Bringer. I don't know if we said that. Oh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Either. So, thanks for mentioning that. <laughs> if, uh, I mean, if you clicked on the video, you probably already knew that, but maybe not. Maybe it just came up in your recommended or autoplay or something. Who knows? Maybe you don't know what Scourgebringer is, or you don't know that we've done some Scourgebringer videos in the past. Yeah. In which case, maybe go check those out. You'll get an idea of uh, how far potentially I have come. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. like, I enabled a thing that was supposed to have more... <laughs> more HP drops. HP drops. I have yet to get a single one in this playthrough. I'm like, what is the deal? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Uh, clearly, it's not that many more HP drops. <laughs> no, the Fanu. I'm not buying your stuff. <laughs> I'm not Maybe. spending max HP. Or not, sorry, I'm not spending my own HP to buy okay. your things. It's not I max it HP was... that I would lose, but... Ow. That would be pretty brutal if it was max HP. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That didn't go as well as I would have hoped, though, honestly. But I do remember a time when that was extremely difficult. <laughs> this shows how far you've come. Problem is, I did not use Fury or the ammo. Yeah. I'm like yeah. unintentionally putting myself at a disadvantage. The ammo really is hard to remember. The slashing is so satisfying. Altar of Blood. What do we got? Enemies have less life. Went on max HP damage is increased, but I think I'll just go for the outright less life. Yeah, you're not at max HP. Who knows when that'll happen again? Since more HP drops apparently doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm not getting hit by the ceiling drill. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as an HP drop or not. <laughs> it's... It's something that preserves HP, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, too many enemies all doing wow. their attacks at once. Yeah. Am I supposed to keep going this way? I think so. I don't know. Yep. That's the big boss. But, uh, let's see here. I did the Altar of Blood. There was that shop there. It wasn't one I particularly liked, but it was there. So, I guess there's no guarantees about other shops. Yeah, you're good. Candle man. Boom. Dang, that was a lot of damage. Which is why I enjoy deflecting those <laughs> when he does that attack. Oh, geez. Different attack, though. I maybe should have used my fury there. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, dude. There we go. Yes. 
That's not what I meant to do. I wasn't trying to dash there. I just wanted to do the one. Eh. Hey. Oh well. That's fine. You got this. Yeah. Boom. Oh, that did a lot. Shotgun to the face. <laughs> Normally, I would try to do a little more exploring and see if there are yeah. other shops or other rooms where I could pick up some healing items. But, oh well. We'll find Hello. some in here. Hi. <clears throat> uh, do I really want the... Uh, double minigun. Way more shots. Wow. Stunning. Okay. I'll give that a whirl. Let's try it out. I think I actually remember it. Uh, which way? Okay, it's a little bit down, but also left. So I'll keep going left for now. I'm not going up near the poison stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Three-headed monster. <laughs> yeah, that then turns into three of these guys. Slug kebab, okay. Ah, challenge room. That's one. <laughs> That's one. All right, you know what? Half the time, the challenge rooms end up hurting me more than, or end up helping me more than they hurt me. That's what I was yeah. trying to say there. Don't forget the minigun. You got that. I mean, those are tiny dudes, but... Doggone it. It, like, had me dash there... ...and then do the... ...smash. Yeah. And I was trying to kind of do both. Oh, shoot. Don't do that. Stupid poison clouds. Jeez, there's a lot of enemies. Okay. Got a couple HP back. Don't need the ammo there. Yeah, I don't know if that actually helped me overall. Uh, before I go to any boss type enemies, I would like to try to find a shop and or an altar of blood. Yeah. Well, there's a shop right above me. Maybe help, I'll be, help, be able to get help. some healing in. Help, help, help. Okay, what have we here? None of that is... Okay, this guy does nothing but weapon-related stuff. That's irritating. <clears throat> Whoa, hello. Okay. Noise. Well. I could do the passage of the day. It's about that time. Got a little break here. Yeah. Hey, another shop. This is the kind of shop I like. Okay. There we go. One more smash. Oof, that's expensive. But two more max HP and a shield. You need it. You need it. Ch 
Shall I pause the fighting momentarily while you, uh... Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, okay, this is from 1 Timothy chapter 6, and I'm going to be reading verses 17 through 19. This is another interesting one that I personally haven't heard quoted almost at all. <laughs> um, when talking about rich people, I hear a lot of people uh, talk about a camel through the eye of a needle and all that kind of stuff, but mm -hmm. here's one about rich people that maybe you haven't heard before. Okay. So, 1 Timothy chapter 6, 17 through 19. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. Very interesting, uh, and I don't know if I can expand on it too much, but it's definitely is very different from the flat out like, oh, uh, you know, it's basically impossible for rich people to get to heaven which actually is not what camel through the thread of a through the eye of a needle was saying because directly after they asked him then who can be saved and jesus said with men you know i don't remember the exact with god all things are possible that's what he said yeah um so that's not what that one was saying but in addition then you have this one saying um giving instructions basically to rich people to be uh, giving and literally a quote is willing to share so it's not even that like you necessarily have to just become poor although that is what Jesus calls us to do he calls us all to give up all of our belongings um, obviously not everyone can do that I haven't done that guilty as charged <laughs> um, you know Mother Teresa is one example of someone who did that just dedicated her whole life to helping people uh, but not everyone is going to do that and it doesn't mean you're condemned to hell so uh, this is just more of an illustration of that I guess um, yeah command them, command them to do good to be, be rich in good deeds and be generous and be willing to share um, yeah it's very interesting and just yeah I, ha I, I haven't heard that one really quoted from anybody that I can think of in my memory, although I'm sure people have. Uh, and so something that I kind of get from this that actually kind of connects back to a passage that we read not too long ago in a way. Yeah. Uh, so it's more so like I think the the rich person mentality you might say that where it's like they think they're better than other people or like their focus is just on getting rich and that kind of thing um, that's a good point yeah. when it talks about it being difficult for a rich person to get to heaven that like it's talking really even more so about mentally rich people, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So, the connection to a previous passage was, or at least that I was thinking of, is with regard to how Jesus told the Pharisees that it's not the, you know, that it's not the sick, or the, that it's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Just like he didn't come to call the the righteous but sinners so yeah. Yeah. in that kind of way it's not really about literally being wealthy it's more yeah. so about having the attitude of someone who is wealthy who like you know 
doesn't really need God. They can just provide for stuff themselves, and you know, they think they're better than other people because of their wealth and yeah yeah just simply having wealth doesn't mean you have a yeah. wealthy mindset as you're kind of putting it yeah and it reminds me of a different passage too where it talks about the love of money is the root of all evil and um Again, it's not the money itself, it's the love of money. You can't serve two masters, money and God. So, yeah, I think uh, that's a really good way to put it, the, the way that you did. Well, plus, there's, you know, actually commands for the rich here to, like, hey, if you are rich, help people with it. <laughs> like, yeah. don't just... Worry about your own personal gain. Eh. Right, yeah. So it's not that having money in and of itself is the problem, it's what you do with it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. And don't let it become your master. <laughs> yeah, and that whole... That's actually the closing of... The whole closing of Timothy, yeah, it's the whole closing of First Timothy, and it's a letter to Timothy. Um, so he's actually telling Timothy how to instruct people, and so that was his how to instruct rich people. Um, a good chapter. I, for a long time, thought it was written by Timothy, but it's actually a letter to <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> yeah. Although I guess that would make sense because like Romans is written to the Romans. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Corinthians, etc. All of those. Yeah. The 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 names of those are more accurately like the letter to Yeah. Whoever. <clears throat> or the people located wherever. Yeah. All right, we're back to my favorite world. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> All right, am I still supposed to go down? There's also a bit of left involved, so maybe if I go here. Uh, no. <laughs> See, those lasers also move around a little bit, kind of like that one boss enemy from the second world that we're not too fond of. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not really seeing much in the way of healing items. I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, mini what boss. Is this, this might actually be the mi the easiest mini boss in the game in my opinion. <laughs> Although having these other enemies around doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah, what the heck? It's like doesn't really do much. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Get rid of that other enemy there. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, really it's the other enemies that are more so the problem. It's not even that many bullets, it's weird. No! I guess if you allow the, uh, you know big charged up laser attack thing to go that might be a problem yeah all right where do i go now 
Yeah, I guess left. It looked kind of like it wasn't moving, but... <laughs> I assume that just means I was supposed to go left. Hip. Yeah, crud. Yeah. Too many attacks. Okay. <laughs> now maybe there's a slight hint of the more healing items coming into play. Yeah. Whoa, what is that? Another mini bomb? Just a bigger one of these dudes that you see off to the sides, basically. Oh, okay. I... Cred, I thought I had my fury ready. I did not. Oh no! Nope. No. Man, this is. I'm telling you, worlds three and four for yeah. some reason are just. Yeah, worlds three and four. So what I might have to do is like get myself <laughs> to the point of. You got like some the last, <laughs> maybe like just before the fourth world boss since we haven't shown that in an episode yeah you got some homework <laughs> and maybe while I get there I could die uh, well I don't know I don't want to assume that that's no 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 you gotta tell everybody I'm gonna put it even on a harder difficulty <laughs> No HP drops. <laughs> I'm gonna speed up the game like crazy. No. <laughs> what does that look like? Wait, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> okay. Just for fun. Tell you what. I'll do both of those just cuz. <laughs> it did save those, right? Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Like, Whoa. even my movement is quicker. Okay, it's like, over Discord, I can't even see the full movement. It's too fast. Yes. I want to see what the combat looks like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like, I can't even follow it on my screen. The movement. This is like, um... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you want to talk about speedrunning things. Yeah. So, in did you watch Dragon Ball Z ever? Yes. Okay, so in their fights, you know, like, as the audience, you can see all the punches and, like, they're doing all kinds of stuff. But I forgot. I think the creator said all of that is, like, in super slow motion, like, for a human in their world. Yeah. It just looks like a bunch of flashes and then the fight's over. <laughs> That's what this is like. <laughs> Hilarious. See, now it seems like <laughs> the the health drops are maybe coming in a little bit more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, do smash attacks at these enemies, but they're just... It's just well, not really working for some reason. It is sped up a whole bunch. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. It's also like the third or fourth slug kebab I've gotten already. Yeah, what happened last time? You're just super unlucky, I guess. <laughs> it it knew that I was trying to like impress people <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> or like get all the way or whatever. Um No. That seems like the most helpful actually. Come on. Yeah, all the timing is going to be totally off for you. <laughs> right. Another slug kebab. <laughs> wow. Challenge room. This ought to be fun. <laughs> Good grief. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> well, do, because... Like, where else are you gonna... <laughs> it's a video game. It's not like you could try it away from home. 
<laughs> That's true. <laughs> Unless you have some sort of a system that this is available on that it's portable. <laughs> but I don't know of any. Well, you could go to your friend's house and try it on their console. <laughs> Or PC, or whatever. At this point, I'm like, basically doing all the rooms in this world anyway, whether or not I have to. <laughs> See, okay, that was not a health item. And I'm really down to 4 HP, geez. The increased speed really is messing me up. Of course, I yeah. also increased the enemy bullet speed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Double timing off. Yeah. What? The oh. I can't afford that just yet. Buy, like, <laughs> 17 blood. <laughs> now I can. No? Really? What? Buy one? <laughs> you gotta be one. kidding me. One By blood. one, <laughs> I could not afford it. Ooh, hello, I'll take that. Both of those, really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boss time. Oh, the boss is gonna be extra interesting. <laughs> Sped up. This is a true speed run. Ow. Oh, jeez. Especially <laughs> that attack. Ow. Okay, be gone. Shield, nice. max HP, ammo. Okay, um, so I could try to do more of this <laughs> or whatever I need to do in between recordings to get to the boss of the fourth world. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds and good. in case anyone's wondering, I do have another game in mind to play after this. I just really kind of want to get through all the stuff with this one before I move on. Yeah. Because I already interrupted it for, uh, you know, Earthlock. Yeah. I'm excited. <clears throat> I want to see the end. And I'm excited to see what your new game is going to be, too. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>